starting with the next topic that is stages of general anesthesia so what do you mean by general anesthesia it is a drug induced reversible loss of consciousness in which the patient they are not arousable even after painful stimulus the ability to maintain the ventilatory function it is impaired and the patient they require assistance for maintaining the patent airway that is general anesthesia so what are the phases of it first is induction phase the time when you give general anesthesia to the development of surgical anesthesia where exactly you are going to do the procedure next phase is maintaining that surgical anesthesia phase and last is recovery where the patient they regain consciousness now starting with the main part that is the stages so dr arthur giddel he developed four stages of general anesthesia which was developed by giving a patient morphine and atropine as pre medication and followed by inhalation anesthetic ether so general anesthesia it causes descending depression of central nervous system that is higher functions of brain they are lost first but in spinal cord lower segments they are affected first and lastly vital centers in medullary centers are paralyzed now the first stage is that is the analgesia or the induction state so it begins with the administration of anesthetic drug and it ends with the loss of consciousness patient they remain in state of analgesia that is loss of pain sensation and disoriented with or without amnesia they they cannot recall what has happened and they are conscious where they can hear and see and they feel euphoric they have regular respiration and normal reflexes now the next stage is stage 2 that is the stage of excitement and delirium so it begins with the loss of consciousness and it continues to the onset of the autonomic breathing or the onset of the surgical anesthesia now in this there is highest risk of laryngospasm because of that airway stimulation should be avoided signs you can see is hypertension tachycardia irregular respiration unpurposeful response to pain movement of limbs eyelash reflex it is lost then you will hear reaching sounds that is patient will make sounds as if they are going to vomit excitement muscle tone increases vomiting involuntary micturition dilatation of pupil is seen and because of that any stimulus shouldn't be applied in this stage now stage 3 is the surgical anesthesia so it is resumption of the regular spontaneous respiration which continues until respiratory paralysis it is most desirable for surgical procedure in this the airway refluxes they are suppressed which is going to allow you for the airway manipulation in which you can insert the endotracheal tube so it is divided into four plane plane one is where there is spontaneous breathing and constricted pupils with loss of eyelid and pharyngeal reflexes and there is roving eyeballs that is moving eyeballs plane 2 is there is intermittent cessation of respiration along with loss of ocular movements and laryngeal reflexes pupils they decreases in size and there is loss of muscle tone plane 3 is loss of function of the intercostal and the abdominal musculature and loss of pupillary light reflex so it is considered true surgical anesthesia and it is ideal for most surgical procedures plane 4 is irregular respiration and eventually there is full diaphragm paralysis resulting in apnea now moving towards the last stage that is respiratory paralysis so it is marked by apnea there is anesthetic overdose which is the characteristic of stage 4 so in this pupils they become fixed and dilated all the reflexes and muscle tone they are lost hypotension bradycardia it occurs which results in respiratory and circulatory failure which results in death or coma in this cpr it can be initiated if there are any chances so these are all the stages of general anesthesia which was given by gudel so that was all about it thank you so much